Hey everyone, this is Shirley with Unboxing a Brand. Today we're taking a look at a company called Glossier. They're an online makeup and skincare company and their motto is skin first, makeup second. They're really known for their no makeup makeup look and that's sort of the look that I tend to go for. I don't really like the full on makeup look with fake eyelashes and everything and that's just not really me and I usually only spend about 15 minutes in the morning getting ready so I did really wanted to try this company out and see what their products are like. So um, I ordered a couple items here and we're going to be doing an unboxing together as well as a full face try on. It's not Okay, it's not really a full face try on because I don't usually wear lipstick, so I didn't order any lipsticks. Um, so I guess it's a half face try on, if you will. Uh, and I'm going to let you know what I think the products. From the look of the box, you can just tell that what's inside is probably going to be very simple looking and very modern and fresh. So from the outside, it looks very clean. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so let's try to do this together. All right, so on the inside, it's also completely white with their logo Glossier here. And it says, Recycle Me, this shipping box is made from 100% recycled content. Since this box is completely white, I can definitely reuse this if I needed to ship something out to somebody. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this box and give it a second life. Um, when I need to ship something, I can just grab this and, and use it as a shipping box. And then the next thing that we got, a freebie, is like a, a sticker and it's, it's like a really thick sticker and it bends and it says Glossier Play. So I think Glossier Play is like this new line of products that they have that's a little bit more uh, edgy. So there's more colors. Um, maybe we'll try them out next. But let's have a look at the stuff that we got. It looks like everything came in the plastic Ziploc bag. This is cool because you can also give this a second life. You can use it to store your makeup or maybe during the summer you can put your bikini in here. Um, you can also use this for traveling. So I'm definitely going to be reusing this bag as well. When you buy things in a bundle, it's tend to be a little bit cheaper and they have what's called the makeup set. And uh, it comes with a boy brow, a cloud paint and a lash stick. The lash stick is basically I think it's basically just mascara. Um, oh, their packaging is so cute. It comes in this like light blush and white box. So this is the lash stick. If you hear that noise, that's my dog, Harry. He's scratching at the door because it's about the time that we usually walk them and he gets really anxious. All right, so this is the boy brow. It also comes in this pink, pink matte box. Um, I think this is one of their best sellers and it's basically like a eyebrow enhancer. And then the next next item is the cloud paint. Um, and the cloud paint is basically a, it says seamless cheek color. And I got it in Beam. The next set of items I got is called the Perfecting Skin Tint and Stretch Concealer Dual. And both of these items also uh, comes in this blush and white box. So the Perfecting Skin Tint, basically just like, I think a very light layer of coverage and then it also comes with this stretch concealer to cover up any dark spots let's see what else did i get i also got a techno gel eye pencil which is um which is a an eyeliner and i think i got it in like a dark brown color oh wow so there's i don't know why they do this I guess this is part of their play collection and they put it in another bag inside this box which is totally too much waist and then you just open it and so yeah it's like a dark brown eyeliner if you spend over 30 dollars on glossier you get free shipping and you also get to pick out a free sample every time you order and i went ahead and ordered the priming moisturizer so i'm going to be putting this on as well okay so let's get started so we'll start with the priming moisturizer i actually did add this to my cart the full size version but when I saw that I can choose it for free as a sample, I went ahead and did that first because I do want to see what the consistency is like and see if I like it. So it has a very light smell. Um, and I do like the consistency. It's not very sticky. Um, and it feels like it has pretty good coverage. Maybe there's a tiny bit of a tack to it, but I think it's going to help hold the concealer. By the way, thank you for making it this far with, uh, with me without any makeup on. <laughs> All right, so just gonna put it on. It smells a tiny bit like glue. 
and that's a little weird. I wish they added, maybe it's like rice smell. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. Build up hydrating cream. All right, I mean, it's not really like Elmer's glue, but it kind of gives off that vibe. Okay, anyways, all right, so, so that's the priming moisturizer. It's a little bit thicker than what I'm used to, but I think it's gonna hold this skin tint a little bit better. Uh, so this is the G11, and when you go online, they show you different pictures of models so that you can kind of compare yourself with with the models that they have on a website, and they can help you choose colors. And then also, I think if you're not sure, you can send in a photograph of yourself, and somebody will reply and give you a suggestion about which color to order. So it seems like this G11 is pretty light. Um, it seems to match my skin okay, but I'm just wondering if maybe during the summer I have to order a shade darker because we tend to be a little bit darker during the summer from from getting a tan and stuff. Uh, wow, this is like really light coverage. Like really light. Or maybe the color is too light on me. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> it does feel good though. Like I said, I don't like using, um like cakey foundation so i don't really mind that it's so it's so light it does cover up the black heads pretty well so i can't complain i just realized that i didn't order any powder i usually also put on powder so whoops maybe next time all right so this is a stretch concealer and i usually use um like a blending sponge instead of putting my finger in because i don't want to get it all oily so i'm just gonna dab it with the blending sponge and i usually just put some concealer under my eyes and because i tend to have dark circles under my eyes uh i think this color is too light for me huh okay well yeah it's too light oh well So like I said, I usually would put on some powder after this step, but I didn't order any from Glossier, so I'm just going to skip that step. The next thing I'm going to try is the boy brow. And this is basically just a tinted, like, small brush that you kind of brush over your, your eyebrows, and it just gives you a little bit of a color. And it's supposed to give you that, like, natural brow look. Okay, not bad, I guess. I really don't like doing my eyebrows. I don't feel like I know how to do it properly, but I'm just going to try to shape it according to my natural shape. All right, so this side, you can see that there's boy brow and this side, there's just my natural brow. Um, and I ordered the black, the black, because I have black hair. Um, might be a little bit too dark. Maybe I should have went with the dark brown. But let's let's see what it looks like on the other side. I wonder if this is waterproof. Huh. Yeah, so the color is just... It's a very subtle tint. I guess that's what gives you the natural look. And I feel like you have to have, like really nicely shaped brows in order to do this right okay so i've got my brows on next step i'm going to be doing an eyeliner i usually put on a very small amount of eyeshadow um and i did want to try one of their eyeshadows but when my shopping cart hit over a hundred dollars i was like uh okay maybe i can take that out so i'm just not going to wear any eyeshadow today i'm just gonna line my eyes with this uh this pencil here and the color i chose is brack it's like a brown black i guess and it's like a crayon gel pencil so i'm just going to lightly line wet line my eyes first and give it a little bit of a wing at the end and then i'm going to go in a tiny bit on top of my my lids Mm, it's not bad. 
Yeah, again, it's very light, but it's not... I feel like this quality is okay for the price. This pencil was $15. Like, it doesn't cake up and it doesn't leave a weird residue. It just kind of glides over your skin. That's really nice. All right, cool. I like this pencil. With and without. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and line the other eye. Usually when I'm running late, I just kind of throw a set of makeup together in a bag and take it with me on the bus and do my makeup on the bus. Again, I, like I said, I'm very, very like low maintenance makeup girl. And I like my makeup very natural looking. So I feel like I could like this brand. Cool. Hm. All right, that's nice. I like this pencil. All right, so next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So I just actually saw a YouTube video today where a girl says that you're supposed to curl your eyelashes before you do your eyeliner because it's gonna mess up your eyeliner. I forgot about that, so I'm doing it my way. All right, so yeah, see, I smudged a little bit. <laughs> Should've listened to her. All right, so this is the Lash Slick. And the brush is like a plastic brush without any like real bristles. Um, but you know what? I whoa, this is really nice. There's not really any like clumping going on, and the tiny brushes on this brush actually separates your lashes really nicely. I'm impressed by this. Wow. Oh, whoops. Okay, I do this like every single day and it's really annoying. I just, maybe I need to wear glasses. Ugh. This mascara was $16 when you buy it as a set um, alongside the cloud paint and the brow and the boy brow. The boy brow came out to 16 as well and the cloud paint is 18. So like I said, if you buy things in bundles, they, they bring down the price for you versus if you bought it individually. But I'm really liking this mascara. A lot of the other brands that I've tried, it also it always clumps up. Again, I really like how this is brushing my eyelashes. Like, it's giving it a nice even look. I am impressed. And and for sixteen dollars, that's really not bad. And then the last thing is this cloud paint, seamless cheek color. It comes in this like little paint tube looking like packaging. It's kind of cool. I was really interested in trying this cloud paint because when I travel, I don't really like to pack too much makeup, especially brushes and stuff take up a lot of room. So if I can get this to work right, I just have to bring this with me as a blush when I travel and that's really cool. So I got this in the beam color and it's like this coral orangey color. Um, I've never applied blush with like this before, like liquid blush with my fingers. So let's see how it goes. I didn't put on too much on my hand. I'm just gonna, oh, okay, I'm just gonna dabble it on like on my cheekbone oh, oops <laughs> all right well okay well I think you just have to kind of rub it out when you first put it on it looks really bright but you just kind of have to smear it <laughs> so with and without can you see the difference all right let's try the other side yeah, you just have to get over that initial shock of that color on your face when you first put it on. You just kind of dabble at it to even it out. I'm pretty impressed. Like, the prices for these products, um, you know, it's not dirt cheap, but it's definitely, I think it's affordable. And I do like, I do like how it looks. Like, it looks very natural. It's very me. I do just have to maybe put on some eyeshadow over my eyeliner so it doesn't smear so much. Um... But yeah, there you have it. Face full of Glossier makeup. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't have any lipstick on because I'm not really a lipstick person. Um, I usually just go with my natural lip color. All right, you know what? I'm going to put some of this cloud paint on my lips and see what that looks like. Does it smell like anything? Am I supposed to be doing this? I mean, this packaging is convenient, but when you try to get it out, it's like you have to squeeze really gently or else you get a, a little bit too much. 
I don't know if you were supposed to do that. I don't know. Maybe not because it doesn't taste very good. But the color is okay. So right now I have literally a face full of Glossier makeup on. I wish I had ordered the powder because it's a little bit too shiny for my taste and I kind of want a little bit more coverage and I think the powder would have done that and I think I definitely want to try their eyeshadow next they have like this stick eyeshadow thing that you kind of just glide over and just dabble on so that's something I want to try as well so maybe next time so there you have it this is Glossier Unbox and this is what it looks like on Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be featuring a lot of unboxings and reviews on this channel. So make sure to also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll leave a 10% off coupon down below if you wanted to try it for yourself. My dogs are scratching at the door. I'm going to go walk them now and we'll see you next time. Bye.